Unfortunately, the railway line to Odessa is out, Professor. So you will have to stay a few days longer. Well, at least the yogurt will be fresh. <laughs> All my specimens are broken, smashed by your confounded earthquake. An impatient man. Not like me. Could you assist me to get away? How? By coming to my room tonight. I want you to stay till dawn. <laughs> Mr. Rosenblum, you've taken leave of your senses. While you are there, the guard is unlikely to enter. It'll be long past breakfast before they realize that I am gone. I cannot compromise myself like that. Without such a ruse, I have little chance of reaching the border. They have the telegraph. They can send a message to intercept me. So you will be safe, leaving me at the mercy of both my husband and the captain. The fact is, you are a British subject and I am a British agent. And I have to get those papers back to England. Even if I were to go through with your plan, the consequences would be unthinkable. I would be locked up, humiliated, abused, and on being released by the captain. Taken home in disgrace by my husband, sermonized at every station, and finally, when we did reach London, divorced, thrown out onto the streets. When you reach London, I will be there to meet you. Mr. Rosenblum, I know you are in a terrible situation, but even so, you should resist making rash promises. I will be there. I am sorry, I cannot help you. You must have realized spying is a desperate business. Well, so I might tell you his marriage. I have embarked on an enterprise twice as hazardous as yours, and it takes me all my wit just to survive. Even if I were to try, the guards would It is me. important that they should. What if Reverend Thomas would have Double wished? is laudanum, that's what he takes, doesn't he? <sighs> well, I understand your position. I hope you will accept my apologies for the indelicacy of my proposal. No. I'm sure your motives were most honorable. You are to return with me, madam. As for you, sir, you stand rebuked, sir. I am a man of God, sir. If I were not, I would not be so civil. Margaret. Uh, what, what tonight? Proverbs 31 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is above rubies. Do you know who Prometheus was, Professor? Yes, a figure from Greek mythology. Correct. He stole the secret of fire from the gods, and he was caught red-handed. <laughs> Do you know what they did to him? They chained him to a rock, and a tiger came and tore out his stomach. 
An eagle. I received another telegraph from Odessa today. It would appear that the gods are angry. Someone has stolen some secret information about our oil surveys, which must not fall into foreign hands. So it would appear that my theory about Prometheus was correct, Professor. Prometheus was a very influential man, you know. He had lots of powerful friends. Nevertheless, he ended up chained to a mountain in the Caucasus. I can't help thinking that that is what is going to happen to you, Professor. I think maybe tomorrow I move you into the lockup. I am sure I can find out in a couple of hours whether or not you are this Prometheus that these cables refer to. 